I am Marshall reporting for the Act of Diana regarding the horrific assassination of Julius Caesar by a group of senators. I will try to answer the question on every Roman's mind. Why was Caesar assassinated? Many of you remember how Caesar came to power. He came, he saw, he conquered. A masterful general with many victories. Once Caesar crossed the Rubicon, the Senate feared Caesar would take their power. They sent Pompey to attack Caesar, but Caesar was too strong and defeated him. Caesar proclaimed the die is cast and marched to Rome and made himself permanent dictator, usually a short-term appointment. Caesar was very generous with his troops as well as his friends. For instance, here's the gift of gold coins and statues Caesar gave guests at his last Saturnalia banquet just a few months ago. I still hold mine dear. No, the coin declares Caesar a permanent dictator. Romans have long witnessed the battles between the populares who are for the people and the optimates who believe they are the best ones. Caesar, Cassius, Decimus, and Brutus led the group who assassinated Caesar because they feared his rise to power. After the murder, Caesar's blood-soaked body was removed by slaves and carried to Caesar's home. Caesar's physician conducted an autopsy and discovered 23 stab wounds, including one under Caesar's left arm that pierced Caesar's heart. Caesar's body was taken to Domus Publica and Calpurnia. Caesar's wife prepared his body for funeral rites. His funeral was held a few days later. It was a massive event of great sorrow. His body was cremated at the Roman Forum. The assassins were treated to Capitol Line Hill. Mark Antony negotiated a deal with the Senate so the, no the murderers wouldn't be punished, but all of Caesar's appointments remained, and Caesar was recognized as a god, divine Julius. Brutus was much admired by Romans, but his treachery will be all he is remembered for. Brutus even had the audacity to create an Ides of March coin to promote his treason. Caesar named Octavius his heir in his will and gave every Roman 75 drachmas. He also left all his private gardens and orchards on this side of the Tiber River to Rome. Mark Anthony spoke at Caesar's funeral. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. My heart is in the coffin there with Caesar and I must pause till it come back to me. All our hearts are with Caesar tonight as we bid him farewell.